So welcome to unit one. What is commercial art design? This fulfills benchmarks 91154 and 91351. This unit will introduce the definition and purpose of commercial art design. You'll also learn the importance of using media to convey an idea to an audience. As you learn to use the design process, you'll begin to create your own images. This unit will include one assignment that has you uploading some images and one unit quiz for a total of 40 points. So what is commercial art? Really truly the definition is that it's art used for commercial purposes. Commercial art is just another word for design. That's today's modern term. Most of the things we will be doing this term are going to be within the realm of graphic design. So we'll be concentrating on logos, visual identity, and poster design as a springboard for design problems. So commercial artists advertising, graphic design, product design, illustration, web design, package design, and visual identity. All of these things sort of are in our daily lives. We walk by many things that have been made by a designer every day. Commercial art makes up the majority of the creative and artistic uh, job positions out there in the world today. Advertising is one of the most important parts of commercial art. From print to TV, it uses visuals to sell a product or a service. Believe it or not, Minneapolis is second only to New York in advertising agencies in the area. Graphic design is basically uh, for printed items like advertising or brochures that must have a visually continuous message. Things like posters, CD covers, magazine layouts, things of that nature. Um, brand identity is pretty important these days to sell a product. So product designers design all of the items that we use. Um, we see many of these around us on a daily basis from cars to iPods to vacuum cleaners to furniture everything in our world has been designed by a product designer so illustration is another large section of commercial artists these people illustrate or paint and draw illustrations that are used for medical fashion caricatures book covers magazine articles or anything that does not require a photograph but still needs a picture. Web design and multimedia is basically exploded in the last 20 years. Many different applications on the World Wide Web. This really is the future of advertising and design and it needs to include interactivity. You can't be a graphic designer these days without knowing web design. Package design. Everything that comes in a package must be designed so that it looks like what the brand intends it to look like. So everything from cans um, of soup to chocolate bars and energy drinks, everything has a package that's been designed. Package designers do um, more than just the images on the outside. They actually design the physical package things come in. Finally, logo design. Um, companies need to have some sort of logo or visual identity so that people know who they are. Visual identity makes up the bulk of a commercial artist's work. It's letterhead, stationary, business cards, and sometimes it's just the brand identity. Now on to your assignment. Please go to the Y Design Forum located on the Moodle page under Unit 1 and give us three examples of design from your world. Take a photo of those three objects, upload them to the forum, and then tell us why you think design was important in the creation of those items. Also, make sure that you at least comment on one other person's three items to keep the discussion moving. Good luck!